In this 10-minute guide, I will walk you through all the necessary steps to build your Shopify store from complete scratch. Let's get started. The first step is signing up for Shopify. In the description of this video, you'll find a special sign-up link that will enable you to extend your trial for an additional one month. So make sure you use that link to save some money. Signing up is really easy. Just follow the prompts until you get to your Shopify dashboard. Once here, the first thing we're going to do is choose the theme for your store. So let's click on Online Store and go to Themes. By default, the Dawn theme is already installed on your store. If you want to choose a different theme, just scroll down and click on Visit Theme Store. Here, you can find many themes to choose from. For this store, I'm going to stick with the Dawn theme, which is already installed. Now, we're going to start customizing your store. So, let's click on Customize. This will take us into the store editor. Let's first add a nice banner image to our homepage. Click on Image Banner and then simply upload your image here. Now, let's also change the tagline. Simply click on the text and change it here. To add our custom logo, we're going to go to the theme settings and under logo, we're going to simply upload our logo. Once that's done, it will be displayed on the left side of the header. You can also go through the color and typography settings if you want to use your own brand colors and fonts on your store. Now, to add products to your Shopify store, we're going to have to go back to our dashboard. So let's save our changes and click on Exit. Then let's go to Products. Here, click on Add Your Products. Next, you can enter all of the relevant details, like the product name and a short description. If you need some help coming up with a good description, I recommend using the new AI Writing Assistant, which will automatically write your product description for you, based on a few keywords. Then we want to make sure to add some high-quality images that show our product in the best light. Here, we can set the price for the product. Then, if you want to use Shopify to track your inventory, make sure to set the quantities you currently have in stock. If you have multiple colors or sizes for this product, you can set them up down here under Variants. Once everything is filled out, click on Save to add this product to the store. Now, you can repeat the same process until all of your products are added. Creating collections is a great way to categorize your products and keep everything organized. So let's head over to Collections and set up our first collection. Because I'm building a clothing store, I will create a collection for hoodies, and I will set the collection type to Manual so I can manually add my products to this collection. We also want to add a collection image and then click Save. Now under Products, we can add the relevant products to this new collection. Now that we have added a few products and collections, it's time to spend some more time customizing our store pages. So let's go to Online Store and click on Customize, and that will take us back to the Shopify editor. When we scroll down, we can see that there's already a featured collection set up on the home page. Let's delete this one by clicking on the trash icon. Then let's click on Add section on the left and choose the collection list. Here, we can now display some of the collections that we have created before. So for my store, I'm going to simply add the hoodies collection, the t-shirts collection, and the shorts collection. To add more content to your homepage, simply click on Add section and select a section you need. The Shopify editor is very easy to navigate. Once you add a section to your store, you'll see the editing options on the left. You only need to add your content here and feel free to play around with these options and you'll be able to design your store. You can also switch to other pages on your store and customize them the exact same way. To customize the navigation menu at the top of the website, we'll have to go back to the dashboard again. Then go to Online Store and click on Navigation. Under Menus, we're going to go to the Main menu and then here we can add new menu items, like for example, a specific collection. We can also create sub-menus, like for a clothing store, for example. It would make sense to have a men's and a women's collection, and then add all of the different types of clothing as a sub-menu. To check out how our new menu looks like, we can go back to the editor, and we should be able to see the changes we've made. Another thing we definitely want to put on our store are the policies, like the refund policy, the shipping policy, terms of service, and so on. 
Shopify makes it really easy to set those up. All you have to do is go to the settings on the bottom left, then scroll down and go to policies. Here, we can simply create our policies from the Shopify templates by clicking on create from template. Now, before you save these, make sure you read through your policies and customize them to your specific store details. Also, don't forget to add your shipping policy and contact information as well. And now, we're going to add these policies to the footer menu of our store. So, let's close the settings and go back to Online Store, Navigation. Now, click on Footer Menu, and here we can add all of our store policies. Now, let's go back to the Store Editor and scroll all the way to the bottom, then click on the small drop-down arrow next to the footer. Let's add a new block and choose the Menu block, and now we have the Footer Menu at the bottom of our store. Before launching our new store, we're going to have to set up our payment processor so that customers can actually check out and complete the payment. So in the dashboard, let's go to Settings on the bottom left, then go to Payments. Here, click on Activate Shopify Payments and fill out all the details to complete this process. This will enable customers on your store to choose between many different payment methods, like credit card, Apple Pay, Shop Pay, and more. By default, Customers will also be able to check out using PayPal. You can deactivate PayPal checkout if you want to, but usually that decreases the conversion rate on your store, so I would just leave it turned on. We also want to make sure to set up our shipping rates. So let's go to Shipping and Delivery. Here, we can set up different shipping rates based on the regions we're shipping our products to, and we can also add a dynamic shipping rate based on the weight or the price of the product. Before we launch our new store, there are a few more settings we want to look at. Under Store Details, make sure everything is filled out, like the store name, store email, billing information, and also the store currency. If you need to collect taxes for specific regions, you can set those up under Taxes and Duties. And the final thing we want to do is set up our custom domain, which is going to be the URL address of our website. So let's go to Domains. If you already have your domain, you can click on Connect Existing Domain and follow the instructions. But if you don't have a domain yet, you want to click on Buy New Domain. Then type in the domain you want to buy. This will most likely be your store name, and if it's available, you can buy it right here through Shopify. When that's done, it'll be automatically connected to your new store. Now, before we go live and launch our new store, we're going to have to pick a Shopify plan. So let's go to Online Store, and click on Pick a Plan. Let's choose the basic plan, then choose the billing cycle, fill in all the necessary information, and confirm. Now, under Online Store, we can remove the password so that our Shopify store is now open to our customers. Once you launch your store, the next step will be to drive traffic on your Shopify store. And I have already created a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can advertise your Shopify store for absolutely free. Click here to watch that video, and I will see you there.